What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. We got a great episode for you as always. Uh, as you will see, Fran's car is behind me. That is because he's getting ready to head over for Yellow Bullet. He will be testing uh, today and tomorrow. So today, Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, I think is qualifying and so is Saturday and then racing into the weekend. So with that said, we will not have an episode on Friday. I know, disappointing, uh, but you guys wanted race footage. That's what it takes. That's the trade-off. We also have that orange SS hit the dyno in today's episode. We will get you a winner on who guessed closest to the uh, horsepower and torque. We also have two C6Z head cam packages that we finished up. Um, one was a black one from Ohio that we did a couple of weeks ago, and then the red one that Sean just finished up. Both of those hit the dyno. Uh, we'll put those in before the SS, so give you kind of a where it is in the video. And that's about it. Let's get started. Hey, it's going back together. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Catch can mounted, blower's back on. Ported blower, Kong Performance ported blower, and snout. Wrapped up the fuel system. Looks good, regulator looks good. I like that spot. Yeah, it worked out. It's like nice. A little bracket. Triangle for bracket it. thing. Yeah. And I I can't decide if I'm gonna leave it like kind of flat or flip it or do what. Oh can you go down with it? Yeah, but the bottom of it's white in front of the Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Leave it. And I'd really prefer the face to connect it that way, I agree. so it's gonna yeah. have to just stay that way. Um, pulley, heat exchanger. Uh, we're doing meth or no? Yes. Okay. Meth next. Okay. Next. Nice. Just for an hour. Pretty good. Let's check out Sean. What else? So, what are you doing on this guy? Little valve springs? Uh, new valve springs, uh, doing valve covers, okay. uh, Cook's headers. Changing the headers? Yep, uh, okay. those are his old headers over there. Look, they look nice, I don't know. You just wanted to change them? Yeah, I think you just want something a little newer, more okay. upgraded. So we got the BTR valve springs going in. Okay, dead valve covers. White. White. That's good. That was nice. Yeah. So yep. probably have his D1X maybe next week. That's my guess. Oh, that's, that's good of you. Yeah, got to protect the carbon fiber. So you have the light on there and protect it. Protect that expensive uh, manifold as well. Yep. Smart. Make it look all nice and shiny. Well, it looks like his valve springs, whatever was in there, are decent. I can't... That's what I mean. The, they even had the titanium um, retainers. Yeah, they're, they're in pretty good shape. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you have fun with that. Yes. I will uh, check back when you got the headers on and doing the valve covers. All right. I'll let you know. A little messy mess. So a little heads cami ammo. I believe so. Rear in. Stage three. 
plus. Because well, the man was not part of the stage three. It's like an option. So I just say stage three in memo. I call it a plus. You call it what you want. Is this like back in the BPU plus 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 super days? Yep. Remember those days? Of course I do. <laughs> First plus was like a front mount. Second plus was like a boost controller. Like whatever all that shit. I'm still on Superform. Well, I don't have a plus, on there. Plus, plus, plus. I have a username plus. on Superform. So do I. Do you? Yeah. Do you use your name for every other form? I'm. At one point in my life, I've been on probably every. Yeah. Just about every form. I for forget, one reason or the other. I forget what forms I'm on until it's my birthday. And then I'm reminded. Yes. That is <laughs> true. Then you get 77 emails. Why am I on hemiforums.com? <laughs> oh, I'm on that too. Are you? I got an email like Chrysler or something. I'm like, what the hell? going on? Yeah, we had to swap some things around. He had a giant setup for his catch can oh, that okay. wouldn't fit with the fuel rail. So we gotta kinda swap everything around. Gotcha. You gonna ride for this? Uh, I do. We got my microfibers. Microfibers? Microfiber cows, mm. guys. Yeah, you got a little, little smudge. Yeah, it's a... Uh, that smudge off. Dude, that's anti-seize. Get that out of here. It goes everywhere. I know, and it stinks too. I hate the way it anti-seize smells. Yeah. Or as, as uh, no Matt C's. would call it, no seize. Never seize, that's it. Matt apparently calls anti-seize, never seize. So what have you done so far, besides rewired everything? Uh, I rewired the whole nitrous system. Uh, I just got done putting a new washer tank in it. I saw you making some uh, hard lines. How'd those turn out? Well, not bad. Yeah. Um, the washer I put the washer tank in because we're um, doing our mess system with our tank. Okay, cool. Um, so it's getting a rear tank? Yeah. Uh, you know, so I rewired the whole nitrous system, made the hard lines from the nitrous system. Um, did some uh, other stuff in the dash that he wanted. The Lingenfelder timing box. Oh, that's right. Nice. The hard lines look nice. So they were just like two like stainless lines just running down here, right? Because it was yeah, in the two braided um, lines. It was in the what you might call that thing, hood scoop yeah, thing, yeah. vent, whatever. Yeah, because that's where they had the the what the nitrous solenoids. Yep. So that's garbage now. Yeah, got a new one. So what? You had something with the gas tank or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. More problems? Not a problem. I mean, just this, this isn't, when you got a brand new car, I mean, this, this is, I guess, a bulkhead that goes in there and... What was has, that glue? Yeah, like, probably a whole bottle of Gorilla Glue slapped around it. That's quality. Yeah, very. $100,000 car. Very quality. I just gotta finish up the mess kit here and uh, it's probably ready for the dyno. Okay. Alright, have fun. 
Well, I'm having a thrill here. I just asked Phil if it did, he didn't know. It does. Any, uh, what kind of headers? Any idea? Cooks, seven eighths, all tech MT. Well, look at you, just a plethora of information. Of knowledge, I am. Usually it's useless knowledge, though. <laughs> I know this. Say something, this guy, he's, he's full of help. Yeah, sometimes it's better to figure out what's on your end. Yeah. It's easy to remember that way. That's true. I agree. Yeah, I'll trim that one a little bit. That one's good. That one's good, yeah. I'll trim it up there. Has to be done. No other way around it. That looks good, though. A lot of people would just freaking just take it off completely. Yeah. Prematurely. <laughs> we didn't. We don't have them yet. Yeah. I was gonna say we didn't have them yet, but we still don't. So. Yeah. So 
realistically, what do you think the second one picked up? I honestly don't know. Yeah, it doesn't have enough. And it'd be nice if it picks up 50. Yeah. You didn't change any pulley, just snout and intake. Right. Throttle. Yeah. Yeah. Which you kind of have to do the 80. I mean, I would think 50 would be pretty awesome. Yeah. I would think so, at least. Even if it just holds boost steady, it would be be able to hold eight pounds should. I think it'll do that for sure. Yeah. Let's find out. I'm about to. Three there. Damn. Five eighty four torque. I don't remember what it made before. Uh, five forty, I think. I'll have to go look. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I only got sixteen degrees of timing in it too, so we'll go up on that. Now that fueling is close, that's a pretty damn good increase in itself. It's boost staying steady now, not dropping off. It looks like it's dead straight across the board. You can go verify that if you want, but started out like 157, 58 KPA, and yeah, it actually increases at the end. It drops to like 155 in the middle at like 5,000, and but then it goes up to 162 KPA at 6,300. So yeah. That's I can't do PPA conversion in my head. Like 8.2 pounds. I can't do it in my head either, <laughs> but... Like 160 KPA, you have to minus atmosphere. So generally 100. So you just do 60 KPA is 8.7 pounds. Okay, so it's up boost. Yeah. Slightly. It was 8. That shows 8.75. This shows 8. Yeah. Okay. It's the same. So it's up slightly boost. We didn't change pulley. We didn't change any of that. No, and I still got some power left uh, in this portion of it. I, it. Your fingertips? I wouldn't be surprised if it makes another 20. It's pretty damn good. Or more, maybe. I think if I rev this thing higher, it might make more. I revved it to 6,300 there. But the graph still looks... Like it's going up? Like it's going in this All direction. The way you go. And a pull after that, it made 566. We just went with a, with a not heat soaked rod. Pretty good then. That's it, it did better than 586. <laughs> I teased it in, well, today's video, and boy, it picked up huge, but that was before I knew it made over a hundred more. Holy I God. honestly think it'll still make more. Too. Really? Yeah. And there's no map on this. No. Dude, we need to get that other one. It makes like a tad over nine pounds. Like 9.2 it made that that Okay. Round. I mean, it was peaking almost at nine, so. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's nice now. Damn. That's sick. You're I'm sick. sick. I'm excited for this. 
sickening. That's cool. I mean, it's, it's it such a cool. simple thing that it picked up that much. I mean, most people aren't getting that off of a can. They're not. Well, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, intake, elbow, and throttle body, that's big. There you have it, 149 wheel horsepower and 84 torque. Obviously it picked up a little boost as well. It was at 7.8 pounds before and now it is right around 10 pounds. Uh, we didn't change the pulley or anything. This is purely just from the intake, throttle body, and the adapter. All right, so let's go to the comments and find out who the winner is. Uh, I kind of messed up. I originally said horsepower and torque but I know a lot of people were just putting horsepower. I went back, watched the video. I guess I cut that part out where I said horsepower and torque. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a giveaway for the person who guessed closest to the horsepower, and then I'm going to give a t-shirt out to someone who guessed closest horsepower and torque. So let's find out. All right, so our winner for horsepower guess is Z06 Corvette. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good name. I will uh, comment on your uh, comment with my info to send me your t-shirt size and your info. Now there were a couple 150 guesses in there. Uh, unfortunately it did go over because it made 149. I'm sorry, it's just the, the way it works. Uh, but let's go find out who won the horsepower and torque uh, guesses. What I'm going to do is just subtract what it actually picked up from what you guessed and the person with the smallest difference is your winner. Make sense? 105 horsepower and 84 torque by Sean Brighton. Uh, he hit torque on the head, so that's a difference of zero. And the horsepower he guessed was 105, so if you subtract 149 by 105, you get 44. So that's his difference, is 44. And I think the other one that was pretty close, here we are, Andrew Albers. Picked up 112 and 76 torque, also a good guess. Uh, 76 subtract from 84 is 8, and 149 subtract 112 is 37. Add those together, that's 45. So he is actually, he only lost by one, one point. But your winner is, with a difference of only 44, is Sean Brighton. Sean, I commented on your post with my email. Send me an email with your t-shirt size and your info, and I'll get that out to you. Everybody else, keep watching. We will see you next week.